Hey guys, it's Amber here, reporting live. No, that's lame, that's lame. That was, that was really lame. We gotta restart it, that was weird. Hey guys, what's up? It's Amber here. Um, I am actually at my grandma's house. I came here for Thanksgiving this year. And honestly, I was reminiscing. I think when you get older and you're going to familiar childhood spaces, you go into the spaces and you think about things that you used to do or how it used to be. And the interesting part about being at my grandma's house is in so many ways time stood still in this house so many things are the same when i look around when i come that's part of the joy of coming the familiarity and the constants of what's here but at the same time so much has changed um, the patio furniture is a little bit more rusty um, i'm no longer a child riding a bike through the pavement and all the different things that my grandparents did. The garden's a little bit older, a little bit more raggedy, but at the same time, it's still the same. It's so familiar. Um, so yeah, this week, I wanted to just stop and have an intentional moment of gratitude. Um, tomorrow is Thanksgiving, and Thanksgiving is one of my favorite holidays, and not just because of all of the food and the family, but the intention to just stop and be grateful and have a moment of thankfulness. Um, I think gratitude is such an interesting place because it puts you in a humble and a joyous position exactly where you are. And I think that giving thanks is also just this powerful dynamic between gratitude and faith. And I think sometimes we don't recognize how the two are linked. On Thanksgiving or these special moments of gratitude, it's not just about being thankful for what we have right now. There's something about it that reminds us of who God is, what he's already said and what's true that gives us the peace that we need as we go into the new year, as we go into the Christmas season. Um, to trust God just for his goodness because of what he's already done and what he's yet to do. If we can look at our seasons now and know that God has been good and faithful, maybe different than we thought, I think when we start to think about the future, it becomes a little bit less scary because God has carried us so much. I remember as a child, um, my parents were always really big on having us each go, me and my cousins, um, my nieces, my siblings, to having us each go through what we're thankful for. And there is something about naming what you're thankful for. It's not enough to just be like, I'm so thankful, but to place a name to everything that you have and what you have to be grateful for, I think is powerful. So I am gonna do that with you guys and I encourage you to join me in this exercise. I am thankful for Kobe. He is probably a little different than I thought he was gonna be, but he brings me so much joy and peace um, in this season. I am thankful to be in a season where my sister is with me. I don't know if I ever thought that I would have a sibling in my adult life live with me and it's just been so sweet. I think that's something that I'm really excited about. I'm thankful for the opportunity to grow. I think I've been presented some opportunities at work to grow in um, or to step into for growth, I guess I should say. Um, and I'm grateful for that. I'm terrified, but I'm also really excited about the possibilities. I am thankful to have my grandmother still with me. I am a woman who has been graced to have so many amazing women in my life, but women who are still with me. I grew up on the same neighborhood as my mom, her sisters, and my great aunts. 
my grandmothers are still thriving, they're still well. Um, I enjoy spending time with them. I'm thankful for not a perfect family dynamic, but an evolving one. I have in these last two years seen a lot of healing in my family and I've also seen God redeem things that I did not think were redeemable. Um, I went through a process of grieving what I thought everything should look like. Um, and I'm thankful for just being where I am with my family. I am thankful for making it to 30. I'm now, I just turned 30 recently, <laughs> within the last few weeks. Um, 30 looks a lot different than I always anticipated it to be. But God is still so good and he's still so faithful even though it's not what I was expectant of. Um, I am thankful for this platform. I enjoy creativity so much and I'm able to be creative um, and use that skill in my job, but it's different when it's for you. So this has been a safe haven place for me. This has been such an enjoyable place for me. I am grateful for my house. I have the cutest little house. I will never forget the first year of buying my house. I, I had such bad buyer's remorse. And I was like, oh my God, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Everything is broken. I got to get this stuff fixed. And now, even with everything that's happened, I would not have wanted a different house. My house is so cute and tiny and just me. And I enjoy it. I've enjoyed it. I'm thankful for the opportunity. Um, to garden uh, this year I've had a really big garden last year I didn't get the opportunity to garden and this year I was like no I'm intentionally not gonna travel as much I'm just gonna be home and I am gonna prioritize gardening and I've really enjoyed it like I forgot how much it's it it's it's a spiritual experience I've forgotten how much it just makes me happy so I got to do that this year I'm also grateful for my garden fells. I aspire to have a farm one day. And though I don't know all of the greatest tips and tricks yet, I know a little bit more of what not to do and a little bit more of what to do. I'm thankful for my chickens. Have y'all seen them egg prices? I'm thankful for my chickens. Um, yeah. So I wanted to invite you into this gratitude corner with me. I think during Thanksgiving, it's so easy to get pulled in and sucked into all of the hustle and bustle, the Black Friday deals, making the perfect dinner, getting the perfect picture, whatever it is. But in the midst of all of the noise, remind yourself of what's true. Remind yourself of what you have. Remind yourself of who God is. Um, and just lean into a moment of gratitude. So that's pretty much all I had to say today. I wanted to make this quick and easy. Um, so thanks for tuning in. Please leave some comments down below of what you're thankful for this season. I would love to see it. Thanks for tuning in. Um, I'll see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye guys. Ho, 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 ho.